Hello. Ah. I wasn't ready. What's <laughs> right? Stopped. You would think that I would be ready. You would think that because I'm the one who control. I'm the controller of this whole thing. I, the master, of my own universe. I control this whole thing. You think that when I hit record or stream that I would be ready? Apparently not. Not ready. Hold on. Let me find my inner chi. Got my coffee in hand. I am ready to rock and roll. Welcome to the Vape at Five. I'm your host, Black Cat. It's Wednesday. Good to see everybody. Glad you're here. I'm telling you right now, we have got some really great stuff going on today. Today, we're going to do a couple of things. One, we're going to take a look at the Classic Clouds drill insert, flat drill insert. I have not used it yet. So today will be the first time. Um, I'll talk through the experience of using it and uh, give you an idea of how effective I feel that it is and uh, just give you an honest opinion on it. Uh, I've been looking at this thing for quite a while. I actually saw it. It's been around now for probably at least a year, I think is when it originally came out. Um, Classic, Cl Classic Clouds is a company out of um, the United Kingdom. They uh, sell coils and, and if you go to their website... They sell coils. They have. Uh, they also have some uh, swivel tools or swivels, things like that. Uh, the price on this Classic Clouds flat drill insert is ten ninety nine, but that is in pounds. So it translates to I think it's like I think it's like fourteen dollars American uh, if you're looking to pick one up. Then with shipping and all that, it probably would be a little pricey. Um, I'm not sure what the shipping would be, but I would assume at least ten. At least ten, maybe fifteen dollars. I know when I ship things over to the UK, uh, if it's not an envelope, it's fourteen dollars. Excuse me, it's fourteen dollars. So it's pricey. Um, how's everybody doing here? Look like we've got some Mr. Pebble Punk AF coils. Glad to see you guys. I haven't seen you in chat before. Welcome. Thanks for joining, guys. Appreciate it. Uh, so yeah, so it, it looks like it's a, it, it might be a little pricey uh, for people here in the United States. Uh, this was sent to me by Nick, uh, Lou Frigno in the chat, um, to give it a go, try it out. Um, just, okay. So anything with drill inserts, and there's a number of ones that you can use. Um, the original one that I think that I had that I originally used, and I think most builders did was it's called a jeweler's hand or a jeweler's clamp. Uh, I don't know if I have it laying around here. Let me, let me check real quick. I think I do. I don't really use them anymore. Um, but I'll tell you what, for a long time I did, let me see if I have it in here. I don't, yeah, I don't use it, but basically all it is, it's a, um, it's a metal clamp, um, comes to, to an end here. And then you have a, a pivot screw on top that you fasten it down and tighten it onto your build. I wonder what that is. It might be in there. Shoot. That's kind of concerning. I don't know actually where it is. I'm sorry. I wouldn't have thrown it away. Huh? Oh, well it's around here somewhere. The other one is Ramos clamp, and you can get Ramos clamp at Builder's Boutique. Uh, it's more, I don't have that one here either, somewhere around here, uh, but it clamps down like this. It has two screws on top that you tighten up. This one is much, much simpler, um, and uh, we're going to see how effective it is. I, I've messed with it a little bit. I, I don't know how, um, I, getting the core into it and clamping it down is probably something you have to get used to. Uh, I had some trouble where I was trying to open it up. It just kept closing on me, but I'll do it live today. So you'll get to see what it, what, uh, you know, somebody who's using it for the first time, uh, how easy it is to manage. Uh, Nick sent me a video of him using it and he uses his quite a bit and, um, it works, it works fine for him. So, you know, I think it's probably just one of those things you just have to get used to, you know what I mean? Like anything else, but, um, it would be something, you know, it's one of those things also that like if you're th this is more for staggering builds where you want to keep your cores flat and things like that out of the chuck. Um, it's not something I w I'm going to make an alien today four core alien uh, that'll be in the giveaway for Friday. Um, but the uh, four core square alien. So this is like the this is I'm telling you right now this, this four core square alien that I make 
It's the best. It's my. It's what I vape. It's my all day vape. So uh, this is a fantastic coil. I love making this coil. I love vaping this coil. I love sending this coil out to people that have never vaped square wire before and getting the reaction back. I got reaction back from somebody today that I sent some to, and they're just like they're fucking amazing. I was like, yeah. It's like you don't think you don't understand how good square wire is until you vape it, and you're like, it is the fucking best. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna use it today. So typically, if I was going to use this product, I would use it more for like a pitchfork, or um, you know, maybe not a staple stagger if he's clapped in because there's a little easier. But uh, if I was going to do like a like a more complex stagger build with some corrugation or something in there, or a binary or something like that, I'd probably use it um, where you're going like a little bit at a time and stopping, moving your moving your brace or whatever you're using your clothespin in the middle just a little bit at a time. Uh, multi-core stagger fuse clapped in something like what we saw from Jubster, like the 10 core that he had on his page, um, things like that. I really hope you guys enjoyed the feature of Jubster. It was absolutely fantastic. He's such a, such a kind guy. Like he sent me a message and like, Hey man, thanks so much. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, dude, thank you. Thank you for allowing me to do it. You know, I really, really appreciate you. And, and like, you know, a huge fan. I'm a huge fan of Jubster. And I think as a lot of us are, um, I mean, if you know anything about, um, anything about, uh, stagger builds. I mean, uh, going to Jewster is like is like the the first video you watch. You know, what I mean, and, and his techniques are quoted in so many other build videos. Like he's really like an OG of this whole thing. I mean, I don't I don't know if the guy realizes his influence, but it's huge. And I hope that maybe through all this, maybe he gets a little better picture of like how influential he was with like stuff that he did for a lot of us when we were first starting. You know, and. Uh, how much we appreciate, you know, the time he put through his videos are fantastic. You know what I mean? He's, he speaks well, he takes his time and shows everything and like just really excellent quality videos. All right. The other thing we have going on today, guys, is we have two giveaways. So the first giveaway is for the Adore giveaway. That is 230 mils of um, e-liquid from Adore. I left it upstairs because I just filled my squonk. One of those will be the new new from Adore. So to enter that giveaway and a set of coils that I'll throw in the ones I made yesterday, which are uh, the 30 T bill. So to enter that giveaway, you're going to go to Monday's episode. I believe it's 163, maybe. Yeah, I think that's right. And put in a number between one and 150 in the comment section of that video. If you have not done it, go do it now. The second giveaway is for your very own C4 RDA by Asmodis. Um, you can win this by putting in a number uh, between 1 and 150 in this video, which, uh, the review video for this, which was last Wednesday. Uh, put a number between 1 and 150 in the comment section of that video. The title of it is Asmodis C4 RDA, low profile RDA review. Find that video, it's in my videos. It's not very far back, like a week back. Grab it, put a number in that video to win that. Uh, that will come with a custom coil that you can tell me what you want and I'll build it and put it in there, install it for you. If you want me to wick it, I'll wick it for you and send it out. Um, just let me know whoever wins and I'll have that out for you on Saturday. All right, guys, let's do this. I've got a really, really packed show because I'm going to do the, the review and the build. Um, and then we're going to do the giveaways. We're going to call it a day and I want to get done by six because I'm having tacos for dinner today. And you know how I feel about tacos almost i had buffalo wings last night you guys when i left out of here you guys thought she was mad at me uh-uh no you know why because i am the master of getting out of trouble you know that master getting out of trouble and i got my i forgot that i had my voting sticker so i put my voting sticker on to ensure that she knew that i voted she tried to bust me out she tried to bust me out live live on my show nobody busts me out on my show Except church and maybe like, I don't know, Bones. They try to bust me out. Not having it. Let's go to participants and say hi to everybody. What do you say? Participants. Got an itchy nose. Settle down here. Alistar. What's happening, Alistar? How you doing? Alistar Robinson. What's up, Mr. Robinson? It's your neighborhood. It's your neighborhood today. <laughs> What's up, Alistar? Good to see you. Anarchy Coiled. What's up, Andrew Cole? How you doing, man? Good to see you, brother. Glad you're here. There he is. Andrew Taylor. Duran Duran Reflex. What's up, man? How you doing? Big boy builds and reviews. What's up, Shane? How you doing, man? Great to see you. Glad you're here, brother. Black cat, white face, no vapes. That's me. 
I can't think of anything crafty to say. Not that's me, and I'm not crafty. <laughs> See how I turn a negative into positive real quick? Yeah. Had my review today. My final review, did I tell you that? Final review, performance, of the year. I'm <laughs> so bad. Like you have to write a you have to write a summary on yourself. Like you have to write a summary on yourself of like how you feel like you did through the, through the year. Like try to sell yourself on how you did. So here's what I do. I go to. <laughs> so we got a new boss. We got a new boss. Like I don't know. Like six months ago. Yeah. Big boss, big boss, like not but not my boss, like the big boss, hot shot, big shot. I hope she's not watching this. If you're watching this, I love you. You're the best boss ever. I'm so glad I work for you. You're the best. But she sent an email telling about her goals for the group. Goals for the group. <laughs> so I copied that email <laughs> and pasted it in there. Just pasted the email in. Went in, I like changed some words, like a few words in there. The, like, put my name in there, a couple other words, things like that. Pretty fun fucking review, ask me. Pretty good. I'm right on I'm right on course for the mission of this organization, sir. So I submitted that. So I'm waiting, I'm waiting for the fallout on that. I'm probably going to hear about that later in the week and be like, Scott, did you write this? No. But well, this looks exactly, I don't know how that happened. That's weird. Wow. She and I must think exactly alike. But I've never heard you use this word before. Oh, yeah, I use it all the time. It's not here. I use the house. I use that word all the time. The house. Love that word. I don't, I, I, I don't even, I love it so much, I'm not even going to say it right now because I can't say it. But I love it. Exactly how I feel. Everything in there, 100% true. Exactly how I feel. Blind Jay! What's up, Blind Jay? How you doing, brother? Good to see you. That's the skater. What's happening, my brother? Good to see you. Brian Feeney. What's up, Brian? How you doing, brother? Great to see you. Cal's Irons. What's up, Cal's? How you doing, man? Good to see you. Cameron, the alien making fool. He's an alien making fool. Oh, another thing I got to mention. Hear me sniffling, sneezing, blow my nose. I got a cold. Cold. Terrible one. Terrible cold. I don't know where it came from. Out of the fucking blue. Slapped me in the face. <laughs> Said it worked today. I was just like sneezing all over myself. The fucking uh, lady in front of me stands up. She like looks at her. She's like, you okay back there? I was like, I'm fucking dying. Dying. It's like, you, know, you got any like Robitussin or something? Con decongestant? Your desk? She's like, no, but I have a fifth of vodka. Well, <laughs> appreciate the offer. <laughs> I'm, in some, I'm in recovery, or you and I would be having a lot of fun right now. <laughs> Charles McLaren, what's up, brother? Good to see you. Clean this sweat coils. What's happening, Freddie? Good to see you. Clinton, not on my lawn. Johnson, what's up, Clinton? How you doing, man? Clutch, where's Starley? Starley here, Clutch? I think you two are on the out. You two on the outs? You guys breaking up? Breaking up is hard to do. It is, especially when, with you, when you're with the partner on a star TV show. I'm going to be doing this all show because I'm stuffy. I'm stuffy! Probably be blowing my nose in my shirt by the end of the show. Good to see you, Clutch. Glad you're here. Dustin Kendall. What's up, Kendall? How you doing, man? Great to see you. Dustin Vapor. What's up, Dustin? How you doing, man? Two Dustins. D&D. &D. <laughs> We've got a new team in the Black Cat Chat. It's D&D. &D. Dustin. 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 It's my brother, Dustin. My other brother, Dustin. Good to see you guys. Glad you're here, man. Eric! What's up, Eric German? How you doing, man? Great to see you, brother. Glad you are here. Eric, now, not familiar. Don't know Eric, you should. He's a fucking awesome builder. You guys should be checking out him out on the Instagrams. Uh, Eric, put your Instagram name into the chat, if you would, please, so people can follow you on Instagram. You are a fucking amazing builder. Love your work. Fantastic. Thank you for joining, man. I'm glad you're here, brother. Frank! God, a lot of people here today. A lot of lists are getting too long. So I have to start doing every one, every third person. I'm gonna start doing. I'm gonna be here forever. I'll be like, get done through the list, and I'll be like, and what tick Mike? All right, guys, thanks for joining, watching the Rape of Five. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> hey, Frankie, what's up, brother? Good to see you, man. Glad you are here. Ian Thomas, what's up, Ian? How you doing, man? Great to see you. Glad you are here. Jeff Sealer. I know I'm not. If I say, I'm probably not saying it right. I never do. What's up, Jeff? How you doing, Joey? To the motherfucking O. What's up, Joey? There he is. Excuse me. Little kid, little burpee. Had had buffalo wings for dinner last night, and then I had buffalo wings for lunch today. <laughs> That's what happens when you have a kid who like orders like thirty wings. He's like, "I'll take twenty barbecue," and I'm like, "And and what? You want more than that?" He's like, "Well, 
I want ten garlic. I'm like you're gonna eat thirty wings. He's like, yeah. No, you're not. Yeah, I'm gonna eat thirty wings. You're not gonna eat fucking thirty wings, dude. There's no fucking way. So, what is, I'm like, I'm like, st- I'm like sitting over him as he's eating them, staring at, staring at him. Like, did you say you got thirty dollars worth of wings in front of your fucking face? Like, you could have got a nice steak at a nice restaurant for thirty bucks, but you, asshat that you are, got thirty wings. He didn't eat them all, so I ate the rest of them for lunch today. So, thanks, son. Appreciate that. Hope you weren't planning on taking this for lunch tomorrow. Because if you were, they you, they weren't there in the morning because I get up before you. So I got that before you got them. Where the fuck was I at? Hold on. Oh, yeah. KLR Pot Smoking Fool. What's up? I think it's what reminded me of my son, Pot Smoking Fool. What's going on, dude? How you, been? How you doing, man? Matt Chandler. What's up, Chandler? How you doing, brother? Great to see you. Glad you are here, Merle South. What's up, Merle? How you doing, man? Good to see you. Nate Frederick. What's up, Nate? How you doing? Good to see you. Nick Fenton, the man, the hour, tower of power. This is the gentleman who sent me. The Classic Clouds Flat Drill Insert. I appreciate Nick. I appreciate you. Thank you, brother. I will uh, give it a shot today and we'll see how it goes. Now, you have to take into account, I've never used this thing. And I am a fucking idiot. So, it's not. It's pretty basic, though. It's not like it has an on-off switch or like any program. You just fucking put stuff in between it shove it in the drill. should be pretty easy, but for me, you never know. You never know how it's going to go. I don't have to measure anything. So that that will save you guys a lot of fucking drama for sure. Uh, church, Otis Trading Church is up. Church, good to see you. Glad you're here. Punk AF Coils, Punk AF Coils, how you doing? Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to me because this is the greatest show on the YouTube. I don't know if you knew that. I am Lady Gaga of YouTube, and uh, this is the greatest show ever. I'm also I see you make coils. I also am the greatest coil builder in the universe. You can ask anyone in chat, and they will tell you such. Uh, no, anyway, Punk, glad, glad you're here, man. Thanks for joining. Uh, five o'clock every day, and uh, we do a lot of giveaways. So enter the giveaways if you haven't yet. You win something today, man. Rick McCraw, what's up, Rick? How you doing, man? Great to see you. Glad you are here. Rob Wiggles, what's up, Rob? How you doing, man? Good to see you, brother. Glad you are here. Simple Vapes, what's up, Scotty? Good to see you. Subaru Vape Nerd, Nerd Vapes, what's up, dude? How you been, man? Great to see you. Thank you for joining. Todd Black, what's up, Todd? How you doing? Good to see you. Tolomac, Tolomite, 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 Tolomac. <laughs> What's up, Total Mac? How you doing, man? Great to see you. Glad you are here. You're new, too. Hey, if you guys like bad dad jokes and mediocre building and giveaways, you're in the right fucking spot. <laughs> Good to see you, Total Mac. Thank you for joining. Tommy! To the motherfucking V. What's up, Tommy? How you doing, man? Great to see you. Glad you are here. Vapor to Peace Place. What's up, Pete? How you doing, man? Great to see you. Glad you are here. Vapor and Smurf. What's up, Smurf? How you doing, brother? Good to see you. Vapor with Ken in the motherfucking house. That's Vapor with Ken. Ken's my man. What's up, Ken? How you doing, dude? I saw Ken. Ken was playing. I didn't know you could play the fucking guitar. I saw the other day. I was watching. You're playing the guitar. You're playing fucking good. I was like, holy shit. Ken's like super talented, man. I always wanted to play guitar. I watch a lot of people playing guitar. And I always pretend like in my mind that I can actually play guitar. Like, I'm like, I, I play air guitar. I play air everything everything like if I ever and depending on the song like I'll play something or like switch it up I'll play drums and then I'll switch it up to guitar air guitar but I always make it seem like it'd be like really easy but like when you actually listen to tell has somebody tell you how to play it's fucking hard it's really hard like like a guitar lesson for me would last like one minute it would literally I would sit down they would like hand me the guitar like this is really neat I like this guitar it looks really great they'd be like okay put your fingers here put your fingers here strum this chord and pull your finger I just hand the guitar back like oh thank you for the lesson is there somewhere I can vape around here? Go outside. I'm going to go outside and vape. And I would just leave, not come back. <laughs> Too hard. <laughs> Anything gets hard, no, I don't try. <laughs> Good to see you, kid. Glad you're here. Village Vapor, what's up, Village? How you doing, man? BB. BB. What's up, dude? Good to see you. And my brother from another brother, Mr. Woodtick Mike. All right, let's roll it back. Thanks, everybody, for joining. All right, so we've got a. Uh, I can play the violin badly, says Irish. <laughs> I, I actually, you know what? I'll tell you with the, the instrument. I always, hey, what's up, M16? How you doing? Charles McLaren, the Baron in the house. Spork Life. What's up, kids? Good to see you, Kim. Good to see you, man. Spring Vape. Hey, what's up, Spring? How you doing, honey? Good to see you. Up, uh, ma'am. I'm not allowed to say honey anymore. All right, guys. So, where was I? All right. So, I've got a pretty big show today. So, I'm just going to jump right into it. We are going to start out. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make a, um, a clap. And I'm going to do a four core point three. Um, square wire alien. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, 
Clapton 26 gauge and Decor. I'm going to use Twisted Mess's 37 gauge uh, Nichrome 80. Hey, DB, how you doing, man? You're welcome. You're welcome. Clint, I said, hey, Kim, how are you, hon? Good to see you. Hey, Bill, how you doing, buddy? Good to see you, man. Thanks for joining. All right, so let's get out a piece of, this is 25 gauge. Let me grab my 26. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, man, this cold is killing me. Absolutely killing me. Like, if I don't have any caffeine in me, I'm like, I have absolutely no energy. Today was terrible at work because I couldn't get to the prayer room because I had to do my review. <laughs> if my boss reads that, he's going to fucking flip out because it gets submitted to him. But it's in the general HR. Like, once it's submitted, like, he can't do anything about it unless I change it. So he's going to read that and be like, oh, fuck. Oh, fuck, Scott. Why did you put that? Knowing that the person who actually wrote the original thing is going to see it sooner or later. <laughs> She's going to read it and be like, oh, yeah, I, I wrote this. <laughs> uh huh. Uh -huh. I'm just, ma'am, I, I think you and I are on the same wavelength. I think exactly like you think. Got, got my eye on you. <laughs> no wonder you made it so far in this company, ma'am. Because you and I think exactly like. In fact, <laughs> what do you think of a little, little something for the effort here? <laughs> I don't know what, I don't even know why I thought that. Like, I just remember reading it and I was like, wow, that's like really good. Like, I, that would be like, look really good on a review. As soon as I thought that, I was like, oh, wait a minute. I'm going to put this in this folder. And then when my review comes, I'm going. Well, what I originally intended on doing was. <laughs> I'm such a dick. So what I originally intended on doing was like using it and like changing a bunch of shit on it. And um, like changing it up so that you couldn't tell that it was from her. But it like went around the same like lines of my other shit. But I fucked up, and I, I fucked up on submitting it, and I erased everything I had. So, like, of course, I wait till the last minute. It's, it was due today at, like, noon, and I waited till the last minute. It was literally, like, 1130, and I'm, like, typing it up, eating a chicken wing, like, typing it in there. I'm like, yeah, man, I got plenty of time. There's no problem. And uh, when, I, when, I went to, uh, when I went to submit it, it cleared it, and I had, like, 15 minutes left. So I was like, oh, fuck. So I just basically copied and pasted in there and changed, like, three words. <laughs> I'm probably gonna get fired. Yeah, nah, they won't fire me. They, they think I'm funny. They think I'm funny. They do. <laughs> to, the, to their to their dismay, they think I'm funny. I don't think everybody thinks I'm funny, but enough people think I'm funny that I probably won't get fired. I may get fired. <laughs> probably. I hope not. That'd be a silly thing to get fired about. <laughs> the question is, will I admit that I copied it in there? I'm probably gonna have to. And I, what's going to end up happening is they're going to try to make me change it. So I'll probably have to write it again. And then I'll be late. And then everybody will be mad at me because I'm late. Story of my life. They'll be like, Scott, you need to get your stuff done on time. I know this. All right. Procrastinator. That is accurate. Hey, Selena, how you doing? Good to see you. Class clown. Yeah. Charlie! Plagiarism. <laughs> Plagiarism. Hey, well, that's completely. That's what I'll do when they ask me about it. I'll be like, Oops. Be like, did I do that? Was that me? Play it off. I didn't mean to. Oh, I meant to keep... I was trying to make a poster of that. I put it in the wrong thing. I was trying to make a poster of your email as motivation. But I accidentally pasted it in my 2018 review. <laughs> I'm so dead. Okay. Uh, about that raise? How's that looking? <laughs> All right, almost done. <laughs> I took 
get a word out on it right now. <laughs> oh, shit, man. So much fucking fun, dude. So much fun. Man, people were lit up today at work about the election. There's election last night. Well, you know, talked about it. But people were lit up at work, boy. I stay out of those conversations. I literally, like, I act like I don't even, because I don't really know that much. But uh, I know enough to probably get myself in trouble. But when people, man, when people, let me, let me give you a little piece of advice. When people talk about politics, they get really fucking passionate about it. And it's best just to not even say anything. It's best to just be like, uh-huh, uh-huh, oh, uh-huh, yeah. Just, that's what I do. <laughs> No matter, you could have a completely like two, two, two arguments, completely different sides, and the whole time I'm going, uh huh. Oh, yeah. I, don't, I never. Like, okay. No, like, okay. <laughs> so we argue, and I'll be sitting there the whole time thinking, do they still have Skittles in the vending machine? I need to go check that. I need to get out of this conversation as quickly as possible to check if they have Skittles left in the vending machine. Uh huh. Uh huh. Well, I gotta go. I'll be right back. I'm going to the cafeteria. Be right back. All right. Take this off of here. Uh, 37 gauge over 26. Okay. So now I'm gonna prep this uh, these cores, and we will uh, give the. Actually, let me show you that first. So. When you buy this product, if you get it sent over here, it's going to come in. This is basically the packaging of it right there. That's it. Logo, flat drill chuck, uh, the item, the drill chuck insert right there. It's 10 millimeters long, I believe, um, or in three millimeters. No, I forget. Does it say how big it is? I read how big it was. I think it's 10 millimeters. Should I do it? Hold up. I got something that can measure it. Are you guys are you guys ready for this? Are you ready for the micrometer? <laughs> Here we go! Somebody, church, make sure you take your blood pressure medicine. We're about ready to measure shit. Hold on. <laughs> church, church, light, church, right now is gripping the end of his chair. His fi his fists, everything about him is just like all. Anger is festering through his body. All right. So here's the insert. There it is. Uh, two O-rings on the end here to keep it together. It splits in the middle. Let's see if I can get this. And this is what I have problem. This thing is really slick. And this is the problem I was having getting it apart. I'll get it. There we go. Splits apart like that, basically. I don't know if you can zoom in on that. Of course, you're not going to focus. Of course. Why would you focus on anything? So you kind of see it there, how it splits apart. Um, it's real simple. You just put your cores in between the two. Made of all brass. Um, so it's really well constructed. Not something you're going to bust up. They give you two extra O-rings in it. So let me measure the diameter of this thing real quick. All right. Reset that. All right. It is nine. Whoops. Whoops. Hold on. Let me get it straight here. Yeah, nine and a half millimeters right there. So diameter of it is nine and a half millimeters. All right. So we're just going to set this right here. So right out of the gate, first thing about it that um, I do like the construction of it. Um, I do like, it does fit in 90% of drills that you buy nowadays. Fits right into my DeWalt. I already tried that and made sure. I don't like how small it is. Um, although it can't really be big. Um, so you're going to have to have a container that you can put it in. Um, clutch was timed out by Clint. I don't know what Clutch did. <laughs> Dude, what the fuck? <laughs> Sorry, Clutch. I don't know what you did, but you pissed off Clint. <laughs> he timed you out. All right, so that's one thing about it that I don't particularly like. Um, is the uh, is the size of it just because it's something that I would lose? Um, 
Whereas the other drill inserts I have are, are a little bigger, even though I did lose those because I don't know where they're at right now, but they're probably packed away. But uh, yeah, so that's one thing about it that it'll be a little difficult. You're gonna have 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 to have some place to keep it that you know it's there and that you always put it back because if that get, thing gets on the floor, it's gonna roll all over the place. All right, so let's get two pieces. Uh, point three, I'll fold it over for the four core. Shit, sorry. Sorry, he said sorry, Clutch. I've done that before. I timed somebody out one time, a couple times. I timed out a uh, guy, who, uh, what was his name? Uh, Chris. Oh, shit, I forget his name. He used to be in chats all the time. I timed him out one time on accident. It's like, oops, sorry about that. Shit happens. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen Clutch say anything bad. All right. <laughs> Who's timing out clutch? Charlie, get on that! <laughs> You're finally getting a good one. Good, Drew. Good, good. I'm glad to hear that. Drew, I'll uh, send. make sure you send me your address, Drew, because I'm going to send one one of these Chucks out to you, and then Freddie, too. Freddie, if you're still in here, make sure I got... I think I have your address. Well, just make sure. Send me your address. if um, Freddie and Drew, and I'll make sure I get those out to you this weekend. I was going to send them last weekend. I fucking forgot. I forgot. I had so much other stuff to send out. And I just, what I do is I make a pile and then I just like, whatever's in that pile I send out. And I forgot to put that in the pile, but I'll make sure I get them out this weekend. My hands are cold too, which doesn't make it any better to um, use this thing. We'll see how. All right, give me some. 38 gauge to tie these together and get me a little piece of ribbon for a slider. 0.5 Tempco Canthal ribbon, 250 feet is like $12. So if you need sliders, now I would not use Tempco ribbon for, uh, for any kind of building. It's tough. It's really, really, really tough to work with. I'm telling you, it is janky. It, it, it does not come off the spool well. There's nothing about it that is fun to build with. Uh, but, God, it's cheap, and it's great for sliders. And you can use, you know, for sliders, quite frankly, you can use uh, – I use 0. .5, but you could use 0. .6, 0. .7, 0. .8. I mean, the bigger, actually, the better. All right, so I got two pieces of 0. .3 square wire. Put my two ends together like that. And the only place on this entire, on either of these, that I'm worried about matching up is at the top here. So I'm going to bend these together. Let's see here. And I'm going to make sure that the one stays inside. So what I'll do is I'll take the one of them, make it a little smaller so that it sits inside the other one. There we go. That way they're always straight at the top. Don't want them overlapping at all. What'll happen, you could get away with it if they overlap when you're folding them up like that. But what'll happen is when you start pulling on it and putting pressure on it, they'll want to shift over that way, especially near the end. So it's just best just to not let them overlap at all. Just like that, perfect. All right, take some 38 gauge, whatever you got laying around, 38, 40 gauge, whatever. And we're just going to tie this off. All right, that looks pretty good. Where's my nylons at? There they are. All right, take your nylons and just press it down up top here. Keep it nice and flat. All right. All right, go back up here. And I'm just gonna make real loose four wraps. Cut that off, flatten it out with my nylons. About an inch away from the top. Make sure that slides. Ooh, that's tight as hell. But it'll work for what I need because I'm only gonna have to move it once. 
Go back up top here, pull it back down, and right above where I put that 38 gauge, I'm just gonna put four wraps with this 0.4 ribbon. Fairly loose. There we go, now I got it nice and flat. Clean it up. All right, get some moisture on your fingers. I'm gonna start pulling the first down. Pull that ribbon down right behind it. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? That ribbon's gonna get moved up top there because that's a little tight. I'm gonna make another slider right in front of it. A little bit looser, that's easier to move. All right, flatten this one out. Now this, the thing about square wire is it really wants to fold all over the place. Uh, once you get it going, it's easier to stay together. But in the beginning, man, this stuff wants to fold all over the damn place. So I'm just moving all th three of these braces down to the very end. All right, I'm gonna put you guys on the overhead here while I put this into the chuck. So I had to grab my, all right. So no glue, no nothing, just an open chuck our open wires at the end here. I'm gonna clean all these up so that they're exactly even. All right, now I'm gonna take my drill, open it up all the way, make sure it fits in there. Yep, all right, now I'm gonna break this apart. So let me get the overhead here so you guys can see how this thing works. I know it's not that complex, but I just wanna give you an idea. In case you're curious about buying one of these, let me get you. All right, there we go. Move that up a little bit so you can see better. Zero that in. There we go. That looks pretty good. All right, so take this here, hold it apart like that, put it into the grip. Holds it fairly tight. I'm going to put it a little bit further in there. I'm just pushing it in like that. Grab it here and put it into my drill chuck and grip it down. All right, I'm gonna have to put it further in. All right, that's as far in as it will go. So let's get it nice and centered. Okay, so that's as tight as it will get. Now look how nice and centered I got that. Let me focus in on that for you. So push it all, it doesn't go all the way in where it's flush like I wish it would but you can see there, perfectly centered in there. Right there. So, perfectly centered in there, which will be great. Now, the one great thing about this is, I'm gonna oil my swivels too real quick, because I had forgotten to do it the other day. So, let me get this on here, then I'll bring you guys back up top so you can see. So let's get you back up here so you can see it and focus you in. There we go. That should be better like that. There we go. That's a pretty good view. I don't like how it's diagonal. What is, oh, because this thing is bent, duh. Like that. All right. So there we go. So let me oil these swivels real quick and then I'll spin it a few times. And we'll let it go. A little oil on my swivel system here. Just a drop or two from that bearing. All right, that should be good. Got it worked in there good. Get it, put this towel back. You like how I like tell you how I'm doing everything? Oh, I'll put the towel back. I'm going to put this here. I'm going to do that here. It's like, shut the fuck up, Scott. All right. Get all that out of the way. Let's stretch this out. And put this. No, I'm going to make sure this is nice and flat. And I'm going to keep my drill on a pretty decent speed. 
We'll see how this works. I think I really, really like about it, honestly, the, my, the best thing about it is it keeps it nice and centered in the drill. And anybody who knows, anybody who does any kind of build like this knows that keeping it nice and centered in the chuck is makes the build so much easier. It's up here. Whoops. No. Yes. There we go. All right, so now I, you can see me. Let me move myself over here. There we go. All right, so let's give this a shot. God, I talk forever. It's already 540. My wife just went to get her hair cut, so she is going to be very happy when she gets home. And one thing about being married is when your wife gets her, her hair done, make sure you compliment her on her hair when she gets back. I've got decent tension on it. It doesn't feel like it's going anywhere. It's in the chuck pretty good. I'm working myself down the wire here. Okay, so first impressions of this. I can already tell it makes it easier. Um, it's definitely assisting it. That's for sure. Uh, now, granted, this isn't that complicated of a build, but for, you know, I mean, it's really silky smooth. That's for sure. And that's because it's centered perfectly. Oh, it collapsed on me. Son of a bitch. I moved my slider too far out. And that's what I get. That's all right. So I'll get it back. So let's do this. Put this here. And let's go around my... I was going a little too fast testing that. See how well it would do with the slider. With it uh, centered. All right. So this is going to be a... Let's go around that. And start again. All right, I don't know if you saw what I did there. I took my slider and I moved it down to where it uh, where it collapsed on me and just uh, flattened it out, and then I used that as my starting point. I actually have enough here. I can probably still get two coils out of it. But I was just going a little too fast. Good. Let's clean this up a little bit. I want a vape too. So I'm gonna have a vape. Let's all have a vape. What do you say? Have a vape with me, guys. Everybody have a vape. Come on. Follow me. As long as you're over 18, you can have a vape too. I love C4 RDA. Oh god, it's fantastic. It looks like it's wanting to collapse again. No, well, maybe not. It certainly looks like it does. Now I'm a little faster than I probably should. The difference between three cores and four cores is night and day. Not that four cores are four cores are really that difficult, but the chances of collapsing feel like it's like triple. I'm gonna have enough for two. They're gonna be—they're not gonna have much lead on them, though. That's the only thing. But we'll get two out of this.
Okay, let's move this down just a touch. Open it up a little bit so you guys can see. And move the slider down. Notice I'm not moving my fuse hand at all. Do everything with my swivel hand. Or the drill hand. Alright. Move this down. Now I got actually got to move it all because I need to get every bit of this if I'm going to get a duel out of it. Because <laughs> I wasted about, God, I wasted about two and a half inches of it in the beginning there where I fucked up. Okay. Looks like it wants to collapse again. No, it doesn't. That's just bad eyesight. Looks like it wants to try to collapse, but I'm not gonna let you. I don't have much decor left. It does. Okay. So let me get the rest of it here. Try to get as much as I can. Out of All right, it messed up, but that's fine. So there we go. Let's cut this off. And how much time do I got left? 47, so we better start doing these giveaways. Now, I'm going to see how I want to wrap this. So how much do I actually have? have... Down here, take a look. All right, so that's my mess up spot right there. Oh, it's seven inches. I got plenty. I got plenty. So we can, yeah, I can use this. Absolutely. All right, yep. So let's cut that part off. And I will make two, maybe I'll make two, uh, four wraps or something. Give you guys the extra. I'm going to set that there. Then I'll wrap it here in a minute. All right, you guys ready for these giveaways? So if you have not gone to the two uh, shows and put in your number, I'm sorry, but... You are too late. You have failed. You are too late to do anything about it. Now, I actually have, this is three inches. So, I don't know if, if I could actually put something. Ah, I'd be too low. That would probably be too low. I'll just throw it up there and see what I can do with it. All right. So, First giveaway we're going to do is going to be for the Adore E-Liquid, 230 mils of Adore E-Liquid, and a set of 30 teas made yesterday live. All right, so let's go. To, let me get that episode up. Oh, shit, I got it playing. Am I skipping a lot today? Have you guys noticed? Is the, um, is the stream breaking up at all? I hope not. What did I do with the other tissue? Hold on, I got it. I'm just going to use this. Oh, God. This cold sucks. That looked like that helped. Okay, good. So let's go to my page. Get up the episode from Monday, which is Vapri. All right. Load this. Whoa, that's from October. That's not. Wait a minute. Did I not change it this week? I did. I thought I did. All right. I, I, like one person is. There we go. So I did. Jubster episode 163. All right. Let me load them all up. Damn. A lot of people entered, man. Good job, guys. All right. I got them all. Okay. Here we go. So this is for the 230 mils of a Dory liquid. There's like, I think we got like 70 entries. So great job, guys. Thanks everybody for entering. I appreciate it. Random. 
number generator. We're going to go between 1 and 150. Closest to the number without going over, I'm going to pull the number three times. Third time will be the winner. First number, number 20. Second number, number 118. And the third and winning number is the number 139. 139. Let me grab my notebook here so I can keep track of who got what. On Mr. Jubster's Week, grab a pen. Do I have a pen? I have to have a pen down here. Come on. Oh, there's one. Sweet. All right. Okay. So, this is Jubster Week. And this is for the Adore. 230 mil. All right. <coughs> number is 139. Closest to the number without going over, guys. Let's take a look. Scroll back up to the top. All right. 121, Tom Urban. 121, 121. 121, 150 DB, 129, Punk PF Coils, 129, damn, it'd be funny if you won your first one, uh, let's see, 129, One twenty nine. 9. Where's Frank's number? 35. 129. 129! I'll be damned. Punk PF Coils. You, sir, are the winner. Congratulations, bro. All right, Punk. What? <laughs> All right, Punk. What I need you to do is message me on uh, Instagram with uh, your address or wherever you want it shipped to, and I will ship it out to you on Instagram. Uh, on Saturday, so you'll be getting it like Monday or Tuesday. You're going to get uh, 230 mils of a Dory liquid and a set of 30T build. All right, our second giveaway. Let me go to that episode. This is from last Wednesday. This is the, uh, whoops, not as, that's not what I wanted to do. Videos. And I'm going to the Asmodus C4 LP RDA live review. This is go here. This is the secret that big landline companies don't want you to know about. Pause that. And let's see if I can get this loaded up. It's taking its sweet time. All right. So this is for the C4. C4 RDA. All right. Let's get this all loaded up. All right. Looks like I got everybody. Let me make sure. All right, here we go. 71 entries. So, all righty. Go back to number generator. First number, 150. Closest to number without going over, guys. Number eight. And the winning number is number 90. Winning number is the number 90. All right, let's see who won. <clears throat> number 90. Oh, I see 88 already from Rick. 85, Dustin. 88's our leader. 88. 88. 86. Oh, whoops, 88 beats 86. Duh. 88. 88. 86, 86, 96. Number 90. Hippie vapes. Number 90, I have... Uh, Vaping Hick and Hippie Vapes, both. Let me see if I have another 90. So I got Hippie and Vaping Hick. All right. Any more 90s? Any more 90s? 89, Eric. Close, close, close. All right. There's a lot of 88s in and. and Ah, uh, that's funny. All right, uh, is Hippie Vapes and Vaping Hick here? So just say, hey, I'm here. Throw a hand up or something in the chat so I can see you. Uh, 
Hey, Rocky, how you doing, man? Are either of you here? I think Hip, I, I thought, I saw, uh, I thought I saw Vaping Hick. Did he leave already? Hick, are you still here? Vaping Hick? So here's how it goes. If, yeah, Vaping Hick's here. Okay, so this is how it goes. And I announced this. You can go back to a uh, video like three weeks ago. And this is how I announced when there is a tie in one of these. Whoever is here, if, if one person's here, they win. Okay, that's just the way it is. If both of you are here, then we do a we do a uh, a uh, number off, like one to twenty, pick a number, and whoever's closest wins. If neither of you are here, then I will basically I'll just talk to you guys. I'll tell you guys to message me, and whoever messages me first wins is how we'll do it. But um, since vaping hick is here, you are the winner. Sorry, hippie, vaping hick. Congratulations, dude, hick. Send me your address. Excuse me, guys. Hold on one second. Oh God, I don't. I don't wish this. This cold sucks. Uh, send me your address uh, via Instagram, and I will. Oh, and send me what coil you want in it. What uh, if you want? Uh, you know what metal you want, and all that, and I'll send you one. I'll send you a set. I'll install one of them for you if you want me to. And if not, then just let me know and I'll uh, send you the set with it. So let me know. So that's what you get. That will go out also on Saturday. So vaping hick. All right, guys. What time is it? Three minutes left. Open forum. Three minutes. If anybody needs me to write a review for you, for your job, please let me know. I'd be more than happy to do it. And I will get you a gigantic raise. Your boss will be ever so impressed by my abilities or by your abilities that you will probably get a much better job and you'll probably, he'll probably give you his job. So just let me know. If you need a review written, I can do it for you. You have no Instagram. Okay. So what you can do, another giveaway for the Haze mod, <laughs> not happening. Not fucking happening, Dustin. <laughs> You've got one, you know. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I don't think it's that tight. I think it's pretty loose. I like that. I love the airflow on it. I fucking love this RDA. Take one what? Take one? All right, take a review, Steven. Let me know. I'll write it for you. I'll write it in like two seconds. You won't even believe how fast I'll write it. Won't plagiarize. Be all my ideas. Everything. Come out of my brain. Super smart. Uh, so, heck, message me or email me at blackcatwhiteface1 at gmail.com. The email address is below. Under contact Scott, you'll see the email address there. And just email me your address and uh, what coil you want. I'll throw it in there. Best assessor. <laughs> One thing I don't like about this. this okay, so I'm going to review... The uh, they sent me this to review. This is the Asmodus Lunar Squonk. One thing I don't like that it's a it's a magnet on the bottom of it. Keeps coming off. You have to hold it when you squonk. Need one too. What do you to all oh, review? That <laughs> let me know. I'll write it for you. Fucking great review. You guys will be, you guys will all get promoted. Nice. You got a 40T, Dustin? Uh, instead of 30T? 40T, or, um, the amperage level isn't as high. So I think the amperage level on a, on a 40T is 30, but your ma is like crazy high. I'm not exactly sure what it tested out to, but I want to say it's 3,500. That's what the ma is on that battery. The 30T is a 3,035 amp. That's the ones that I use for my mechs. Uh, but for a, and there's a 50T, but I don't know how that tested. And that one is like, I think the, the, the amp rate rating on it is like 10 amps, but it's like 5,000, it's like 5,000 ma or something stupid. <laughs> okay, so Asmodus, yeah, as, I don't think I'm going to be, I don't think Asmodus is going to be sending me any more stuff. Which sucks because their stuff is nice. I like it. Well, I'm not gonna sit here and lie about it. I mean, 
they're mad i called the the rda ugly it's like do you okay hold on a second do you have eyes do your eyes work <laughs> like do you see what it looks like don't get promoted out the door church church wants me to be fired so badly <laughs> he's like I'm going to come to your job, get your boss's job, and fire you immediately. Like, hey, welcome. This is Otis Writing Church, your new manager. I'd be like, oh, really? <laughs> Oops. I'll be heading to the prayer room. See you Tuesday. <laughs> the 40 is 30 amp. 30 amp, 4,000. Okay, that's what I was thinking. 3,500, 4,000. That makes sense. The... uh 30T, I believe, is 3035 And that's why the 30T the 30 bill works, because it's lower. It's under 0. 0.1. But with that extra amps, you're you're good. You're good. I mean, if you know what you're doing, you're good. Has mode. Has mode, exactly. Hey, Juan. Giz, how you been, man? Hope you're doing good, brother. 30 amp is, yeah, yeah, I am. Yeah. 30 amp is nothing to sneeze at, although I'm sneezing a shitload today. Yeah, 30 amp, you'll be fine. Fuck Asmodus, said Rocky. <laughs> you know, okay, so this is kind of how I look at Asmodus. I think Asmodus is, I mean, it, it's high end for Chinese, kind of the high end version of Chinese. You know, but it's pricey. It's pricey. This this squawk is ninety dollars. <laughs> ninety bucks. It's pricey. It's nice. I like it. I'll use it. I mean, it's a single eighteen six fifty eighty eighty volt max. Um, has a battery. Has the uh, battery protection on it. It's like a MOSFET with batter with uh, the the battery protection on it. So I mean, it's all right. Yeah, single coil, vaping out a single coil. It's a nice, cool, tasty vape. C4, it's all as mode is set up. And I've enjoyed it. I've been vaping it over a week now. I like it. We'll send it, blow my nose and send the towel out, Charlie. Yeah, that'd go over well. What the fuck is this? All right, Kim, Kim, Kim you leaving? Oh, Kim, I hope, be safe, hon. Yeah, I saw some bad storms in down south, man. They were talking about some lady got killed and fucking ripped her house off her foundation. Turned it over. They showed her house. Her house was literally off the foundation, upside down. I'm like, you got to be fucking kidding me. I don't know if it's like a modular house. So, you know how they, they have those modular houses where they like bring it in on a semi. They put the foundation. They put it on top. I don't know if it was one of those or what, but it fucking flipped it. Flipped it like a deck of cards. <laughs> D's, what's up? Oh no, my I, I don't. They didn't like my review on the C4, even though I said it was great. They said I, they didn't like. It. I said it was ugly. I'm not a re, I'm not a good reviewer, man. You know, I I think that I've got to learn how to do it. I think, you know, but I like being honest about things, and I did tell people to go buy it. I would buy it. I mean, I would. It's a nice little RDA. I like it. It's just not, it's just not aesthetically pleasing, but quite frankly, like it does match this. You can't see it cause it's fucking green, but it does match it. And I mean, I, I'm not like, I don't, I really don't, don't get overly pressed about impressing people. Like, you know, a lot of people don't know about vaping. Like how many people do you run into a day that actually know vaping products? Unless you're in a vaping store, unless you're in a vape shop. Right. But just in your everyday life, like going to work, going to the store, you know, playing basketball, whatever you're doing. Like, how many people actually know about, like, nice vape gear? Not many. Not and Especially, like, the higher-end stuff. Not many people know that stuff. You know what I mean? We're a very small group of vapors. Even even vapors. Like, you know, even if you go in a vape shop, sometimes they won't even know what you have. Like, the one around here, no clue. No clue. I walk in there with something. Like, my Rebel, I walk in there with that. They have no fucking clue what that is. They're like, what is that? You know, it's Rebel mod out of the UK. Oh, Okay. Have you seen the new smock? It's like, yeah, I have. <laughs> yeah, I've seen it. <laughs> so, yeah. So, I mean, I think it's, it is what it is. You know, that they, um, 
so when I leave, when I guess the point I was trying to make when I like leave the house and shit, like I'm not overly concerned with, uh, with my setup, quite frankly, I'm pretty much just, it is what it is. Um, but I do like nice stuff and I mean, so that is what it is, but I do like having nice mods and nice RDAs and things like that. Just this, you know, I, I take care of it. And I like to have them, you know what I mean? When I'm done using them, I clean them up, put them away. I don't know, it's like a, I kind of collect them. Not really collect them because I don't have the uh, disposable income to collect, really. But I know what, I do like nicer. You know, if you get an, like, you know, you get what you pay for in everything. And, and if, you, you know, you can get a, an RDA that's 29 bucks and it's nice. Like, okay, the BTFC, I fucking love the BTFC. It's not an expensive RDA. It's like 29 bucks. But do I expect the... BTFC to uh, last for a year, year and a half? No. It don't break down. You know, I won't use it anymore. The Jenna RDA. Do I expect that? Yeah, it is. Because I'll take care of it. And it'll be nice. And it'll last for a long time. American-made product. You know what I mean? So, that you get what you pay for. You know, are you going to be using this? Like, I, you know, and I'm guilty of that. Like, you know, I have RDAs, older RDAs that I don't fucking use anymore that I really, really liked. And I don't use them anymore. You know what I mean? But, you know... But if you decide to, it's still gonna, you know, it's still gonna be in good shape. Take care of it; and it'll still be fine. <laughs> yeah, it is what it is. Everybody spends money on something, I guess. It's just something I like to spend money on, even though I'm gonna tame it back because I've got so many goddamn bills I'm gonna take care of. <laughs> pulse ninety. I'm not. I don't. I don't have any pulses. None. Nothing against Tony B, but I don't know him. I don't have any of those. I don't think if I was going to buy a squonk mod, which I have a lot of squonk mods. Um, if I was going to go with one of the cheaper squonk mods, not cheaper, but one of the um, affordable ones, like not, let's say, okay, let's do 50 and below 50 and below squonk mod. I think the recurve is probably where I would go. Um, Cause you can get them for like 39 bucks. You know, topside doesn't fall into that. Topside 74. So topside is like, you know, it's a little bit more pricey. It looks really nice. So I don't have one, but it lo that looks like a pretty nice little, little setup. And I don't have a recurve either, you know, but that's probably what I would do if I was going under 50. That way, you know, you can use it, use your, use your daily banger. Great. Get good flavor off. You can use a 21700 in it. You know what I mean? Great carry around mod. Fits in the hand real nice. That's a really nice little setup. You know, if you drop it, you don't have to worry about scuffing it or anything. You know what I mean? Because, it, you know, it's got that nice plastic protective casing on. It's not going to fucking break or nothing on you. My lipo. You talking about my, uh, the one I got from Igor? Bro Science? You want it? I, I might sell it to you. It's pricey, though. Igor only makes, like, I don't think he, he doesn't make many a year. Yeah. And it's one of his. I mean, you know it's fucking badass. The lipo battery. That I have in it. It's fucking expensive as hell too. And you have to have a LiPo battery charger. Which is expensive as fuck. I never use it. It goes up to uh, 16.8 volts. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So unless you got like. it'll, You can put a Mason 40 on it. It'll fit. It'll be. It'll have a little bit of overhang with the 40. But like a 30 mil. Like I usually put my Mod Father on it. 30 mil looks fine on it. Yeah, it's a, uh, I forget what number. It's like an L case, I think is what it is. L or H case, if you know what those are. That size. That's what it is. Red. Black trim. Pretty cool. I almost got one that like the Wu-Tang Clan. That was what I was originally going to get, but I decided, to get, I decided against it. I love the Rage Squonk, Charlie. I love my Rage Squonk. I used it to death. I carried it so long, I used it to death. I mean, I probably still will use it, but the the uh, ohm reader on it doesn't really work that well anymore. It's always the first thing that goes on my mods is the ohm reader starts jumping. Like, if you're not using... Sometimes with stainless steel, your ohms will jump. If you have a DNA, it'll switch on you because it, it does. It reads different. Nichrome 90 does that too. I don't know if anybody ever noticed that it does it. But Nichrome 80 can't. That should not be jumping. I'm not going to jump. That's about all I vape anymore is Nichrome 80. All right. No problem, Hick. I'll get back to you. 
I'll reply back to you, but I'll have it out on Saturday to you, buddy. <laughs> what did I say, Ian? Wood tick, Mike, it's coming. And if same as Brian showed, it's magical. What? Oh, the dual top side. Yeah, I've been hearing some some stuff about that. Yeah. All right, guys, I'm done. Thank you guys so much for joining. I went a little over today. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, take a look at the drill chuck insert. I liked it a lot. It works great, easy to use. It does its job. You can pick it up at Classic Clouds uh, in the UK. Again, it is $10.99. Uh, that's pounds. So it'll be about 14, 15 bucks when with shipping and all that's going to cost you about 30 bucks. This ballpark, what you're going to have to pay to get it over here. But if you're looking or if you're in the UK, go ahead and grab it. I would, if I was in the UK, I'd fucking buy one for sure. For sure. It's definitely worth it. All right, guys, we'll see you later. You guys have a great night. If you're in recovery, stay strong. I promise I will too. I'll see you tomorrow. Fave five.